I love to eat out. That's what he said. Ah! I go to these restaurants, and they have these things called baby back ribs. Tastes good. But the one thing I don't like is the part that says back. Why not just call it baby ribs? Is that too cannibalistic? I am eating the ribs of a baby. I hate the sticky tables at the restaurants. Why can't they wipe them down? Is that so hard? My parents love to go to these dinner parties, and they drag me along. And when I go, I always see some guy who thinks he's really cool, and he's dressed in all white or all cream color. And I notice something. When you wear all white or all cream color, you look like a giant condom. Uh, I don't mind meeting new people because they don't know too much about me. So I get to have a fresh, a fresh start. But the one thing I hate about meeting new people is that they always want to shake your hand. Why do they want to do this? Huh? It seems a bit random, doesn't it? Why don't you just put your shoulders together and shake them? Ooh, do, 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 do. When is the clergy going to stop saying that we are giving monetary offerings to God? When are they going to tell the truth? We are now collecting money to help us pay for our salaries, so we can keep bullshitting you. God does not need money. Didn't he kill his son? Oh, I thought that was the perfect offering. I find it that when someone falls down, it is not funny. When they trip over the edge of a carpet, or trip on the edge of a raised sidewalk, that is not funny. If they fall down the stairs, that's funny. Ha ha ha! I'm sure that you have seen these things. These people that wear espadrilles. These Mexican Filipino shoes. They're not shoes! A fabric top with a rope sole. No! No! These were worn by peasants. If you're white or Chinese and you wear these, kill yourself! God damn it! Mercedes, among some other companies, they have this feature where the car can return itself to the correct lane if you start to doze off or if you drift off to the next lane. That is a terrible design! Why would you do that? What if you're trying to swerve to avoid something? Now you can't do it! The car won't let you! Oh no you don't! Woo! I recently opened a Facebook account and I noticed two things. First of all, I'm really behind in the times. That's not the first point. The first point is that these girls like to take pictures of their toes. No! Why do you do this? I'm skimming these photos. I come across of these. What are these foot fetishes? You have your own feet to look at it. Look at them! Don't subject others to look at them. You don't post these pictures so you can look at your own feet. You post them so other people look at them. If I'm walking by some hot girl, and I see her feet, and they're perfectly sculpted, I am happy! Don't shove them in my face on the Facebook page. I will stick a blade in your cunt and twist it! The second thing that I noticed is that pretty girls are not very smart. They put their photos on private. Okay, that's fine. You don't want pervs like me to be looking at your pictures. Okay. But you're not so smart to put the wall page on private, are you, dumb bitches? I go to the wall link, and you can see the photo album that they posted. I think if you click publish, it goes straight to your wall, doesn't it? So I can easily go there when that's not private, and I can click on the photo album that you published, and I can see your photos. These dumb women. So if you're a perv like me and you want to see photos of relatively hot girls on Facebook, look for the girls that are dumb enough to keep their wall page public, but their photos private. You have some really dumb humans walking around on this earth. Okay, here's a problem that I have among many of my other problems. I'm sitting here at some booth or some table with three other people that I don't know too well. So one guy gets up to get his dessert, and then I'm sitting there with two other people there now. One of the other people get up to leave. Now I'm stuck with that other person there. Now it's really awkward because i got to talk to them. It's awkward if I talk to them because I don't know them that well. And it's awkward if I stay silent. So nowadays, whenever there's three other people there, and one guy gets up to get his dessert, 
I'd get up too and then leave to go get something. I don't care what it is. Food, go to the bathroom, do something. Because I don't want to be stuck with that other person if that other guy decides to get up. Uh. After I read a book and I finish the last sentence in the book, I close the book, I feel really depressed. I don't know why. Don't you have that feeling that you feel like you didn't really accomplish anything? No one really knows if you read the book or that you finished it. No one really cares either. You finished it. So what? Now what do you do? God damn it.